Good evening and welcome to RSF1 Racing where tonight we have Division 4 going around a short but exciting Red Bull ring here in Austria. I'm your main commentator this evening, Liam, and joining me on co-coms for the very first time this evening is Lewis, aka Smart. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Liam? I'm, I'm fabulous. You looking forward to this? I am. Absolutely. Well, certainly hoping it is a good one tonight as we are as we're already watching the Mercedes of Immortal come round turn eight. Right now, about to start his first qualifying lap and the first qualifying lap of Division Four. I'll stay on board with him for now. So cross his lane to begin his lap. Got to turn one, it's got to be cautious for track limits here because it is an easy place to invalidate your lap. And he could encounter some traffic coming up to turn four. But we will see what his first sector time is going to be. It's going to be a 16 3 for the Mercedes. As it, as it comes along in one of, one of the three, the third of third DRS zones on this track. It's too many on this track, isn't there? Too Absolutely. many DRS zones. <laughs> It's coming down towards the most technical part of the track now. It's taken that quite beautifully. As it comes through turn 8 now, got to watch if he's not going to invalidate. It's coming up with turn 9 now. It's, he's been able to avoid all the traffic. We'll see what this time is going to be like for the Mercedes. He's kept it clean. He's kept it clean as it comes to the line. It's going to be a 105-416 for the Mercedes. And that will be the benchmark for the rest of these drivers to try and beat. Of course it is his first lap, but that is still a quick one. Mm -hmm. We've got the Aston Martin of Charismic also on a lap now. It's a 16 2 in the first sector for the Aston Martin going quicker than the Mercedes through the first sector. No, to be fair, sector 1's just all about speed, isn't it? Absolutely. You want to get the as best of an exit you can out of turn 1 up that big long straight up the hill towards turn 3 and turn 2. Here he comes towards the end of the middle sector. We're going to see what he does as Devil Noob goes. P2 of 112 flat, it's going to be a 45 4, I think it was for the Aston Martin. Certainly looked like a, a good lap as it comes through oh. turn 9 now. Orson and he invalidates flat. on turn 9. Orson so, did go into the pit lane a bit, possibly it was very late. I know he invalidated, I think he just pulled in out of rage, but. Go on, we'll go on board with the. But yellow flags turn one, but that's for Charismic. James does a 45 5 in the middle sectors. The Alpha the of Zom goes up into P1 with a 1 minute 5 2 6 2 coming through turn 9. Does the uh, Alpha Tori? James, he was a very quick driver in F5 last season. We'll see what this time's going to put him. It's going to be P3 for the Alpha Tori right now. Let's see who else we have on the lap. Got a mortal coming through turn 10 now. And the Williams, as he comes up to the line, he is going to go to P6. Good luck for the Williams there. I do believe the Alpha, so, uh, the Aston of Charismic is on a lap. Looks like a fish lap. Going to sector 2 and he's deep. Oh, he's, he's close to invalidation there. Yes. He's going to no, pull into the pit lane. This was not a push lap. Well, as we see Crane Flower spinning on his out lap up at turn 3. Don't know what happened there with the Haas, but... He's got the other Haas of Echo going through turn 3 now on the medium tyres. Which is a very bold move round here. You have to agree, Lewis, the track does evolve a lot around here. 
Absolutely, it does. Come back yeah. to turn eight now to Haas. This is a 45 6 flat. But the middle sector is empty, the mighty, and the Red Bull goes up to the top position with a 105 240. Very good luck. Yep, yeah, as Echo comes through turn 10 now from the medium tyres and he's invalidated. Not ideal for the Haas. Definitely not. But one Alpha Tower of James up in P4. We'll see what other can do of SLR Vettel. Coming, coming through turn 6. The 7, I believe, now into turn 8. This corner is very easy to invalidate on. The Alpine of Famous Gaming is coming around the final corner, keeps it clean, this could be a very quick lap, and he goes fifth fastest. This Lem goes up top with a stonking lap of 1048, we'll see what Vettel can do, it's only P12 for the Alpha Tauri. Yes. As we see, Crane Flowers had a moment in the middle sector going off, off track, it's not been a good start to qualify so far for a Haas having a couple moments. Going board with another Red Bull to start sorting. It's going through turn 9 right now. Watching the track limits is turn 10 now. A bit wide on exit as he's going to come up to the line. We'll see where the Red Bull can go. It's going to be P11 for the Division 5 champion last season of star sorting. Lewis, would you like to think Crane Flower is going for another lap? So if you want to take us through that one. Absolutely. Up through turn 1, very quick exit with the DRS up the large straight through turn 2 which as my friend Aaron said isn't really a turn but it is up to turn 3 very good entry and very quick exit onto the second straight now entering sector 2 we will see if he can hold it together through this part which you said is much of a trickier section for these drivers to handle especially with track limits good exit out of turn 4 Coming up to turn 6, I believe. Turn 5 or turn 6. Through that. Very nicely done. Kept it very clean on that exit. Coming through to finish his sector 2. Very good sector 2 there. We will see what he can do through this tight section. Yellow flags out. But he's kept it clean through turn 9. Through turn 10, much cleaner as well. Will this be a quick lap? Not really. It'll keep him P15. As Charismic goes up to P5 with a 105. The re. Only two drivers not to have set a lap so far, which is a other Haas of Echo and the Ferrari of Modular Cat. So we've got anyone else on lap now. But Vettel pull into the pit lane. And I don't think I think we actually have anyone on lap. Um, I don't know if the Ferrari of Jay Flat yeah. is on a lap. Well, he maybe, is on I a lap, in is. fact. He is a tenth up on his time through Sector 1. We'll stay on, we'll stay on board with him as he's coming through Sector 2, which is a very easy sector to get wrong. He's need to take it with precision. As he goes, Absolutely. as he's three tenths up, in the, it's a purple sector too for the Ferrari. We don't see that very often. Ferrari's going purple, so it's certainly a treat to see in here. As he takes turn nine beautifully as he comes through turn ten. We'll go on board with him as he comes up to the line, trying to improve up to P6 for the Ferrari. It's a good lap. It's a good lap. For the Ferrari. Mercedes of Immortals currently down in this time. He's gonna keep going. Can only I believe any will do. Coming through turn 10 now, it's gonna be flat up to the line. And is he going to improve in this? He is not going to improve in this P10. No. no. We've got a few people coming out for an out lap now. We've got Haas of Echo coming out. He's starting his lap. Will you want to take us through the lap of Echo on the medium tyres as well? Uh, I will indeed. Good exit at turn one, going up this big straight, up towards turn two. 
I do believe up to turn three is going to be a possibly a bit more cautious. Very good exit there, to be fair. On to the second straight, starting his sector two. Coming up to turn four. Heavy braking, but he does get round there quite nicely indeed. Through to turn five. Will he keep it clean through this sector? Down turn five on the exit. He's kept it within track limits up to turn six. Uh, he's kept it rather... Oh! The rear end is there. very slidey yeah, on the, the half. kicked out there. That will definitely upset his time by a huge margin. As he comes round, he is going to still sit 17th with that lap. Not great. Not a good lap. Unlucky not a good Q1 for the Hasses so far, sitting in P16 and P17. We've got the Alfa Romeo of TYG Rogan lap, who's currently 2 tenths up in his time through Sector 1. We'll stay on board for him as he's coming through Sector 2, about to end Sector 2, coming in turn 8, he's just under a tenth up. As he is sliding about and he does have to back off. He's avoided that lap there. I think he may, he may go again. We'll see if anyone else is on the lap. We've got the Alpine of Old Manzi who is two tenths up in his time in sector one. We'll stay, we'll stay on board with the Alpine for now. Come through turn four now. They keep it neat and tidy through there. This is going to come up to turn six, I believe. Come up to the end of sector two. It's going to be two tenths up in this time for the Alpine. Come through turn eight now. Sweeping right hander, I believe. Probably wrong as he comes up to turn nine now. It's an easy place to invalidate, but he's kept it in the white lines. Comes through turn ten again, keeping it in the white lines. He's going to come up to the line. Will the Alpine improve? It only improves the P14. Lot. Here comes Orphan across the line though. He puts himself P2. That's Very a, good that's lap. That's a good lap. lap. Yeah. See Quick Mick pulling into the pit lane. As we approach the four minute mark, that it's is... still Lem leading in the 104s. He's the only one in that the 104s. That is a good lap for the Williams. Um, well, we'll James just need to wait a lap to see if on turn one. No, we'll, go, we'll go on board with James as he comes through the... Oh, I don't believe he's on the lap. Yeah, no, I think he's he... taking a little lap to warm up. Yeah. Is Mansi on a lap? Mansi is just on a lap. Got a more all coming for his outlap, but just over three minutes forty left on the clock. The Aston Martin, oh. yeah, I believe the Aston Martin of Charismatic is on a lap. He could be, or yeah, he's not. There you go. A star well, Sorfin has retired, which is reasonable he as he is sitting comfortably P two at the minute. Very happy with his time. I think, we, I I think we could be seeing the Alpha Tauri of James going on the lap now. As he will do, so we'll go on board with James here. So he's looking to improve in his P8 currently. Coming up to turn one, he's wanting, to, he's wanting to take as much of the track as possible and get a good exit, which he does do. Of course, being careful not to invalidate because the track limits come through the kink that they call turn two here as he comes up to turn three is a tenth up exactly on his time in sector one coming up to turn three gets a good exit it's going to be flat out drs open all the way down to turn four for the alpha tori turn four is taken very nicely he's getting close to track limits is going to I'll come to turn to seven sector two if you want to stay on board with him, I'll stay on board with James. As yeah, he comes through turn lap. eight right now. Didn't catch James's middle okay. sector time, but I think it was good. Come through. Kept it clean coming along across the lane. 
It's going to be P2 as Jim's going to fall behind him and he does go off the track in the process. Improving it to P5, but uh, I think the Stewarts could be having a wee look at that maybe. Yeah, they might have to. We've got the Alpha Romeo of Zom who's currently under one and a half tenths up in his time through Sector 1. There's a purple Sector 1 in fact, as I've just seen. Come up turn 4. We keep it nice and tight to the apex of the corner and get a good exit using all the track that is available. It's going to come round to turn 7 as we see modular cap. Target is going to be P18 for the Ferrari. As it comes through turn 8, it's taken that perfectly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come up to turn 9 again. Easy place to invalidate in the exit. Takes it perfectly. Turn oh. 10 using all the track available. We're going to see what he goes up to. It's going to be P2 for the Alpha Romeo. Somewhere in there. Very quick lap. Driver. Drivers. That's the one minute mark. Driver sitting in their final lap around this time. Echo. The house of Echo improved up to P7. Raw goes P2. Getting into the 104s as well. Four. Going board in a clan of JD Devil Noob, who of course did win at Baku last week. Picking up some good points, and he's just under a tenth up in his time. Let's see where the McLaren can go. You see. Oh, Dominic that... went off into the barrier. Oh dear. Anyway, we'll see. we'll see Devil Noob coming up to the line. Will he improve this P11? Goes up to P2. The 104.8 is Mick goes off the track. Train flower retires. Got, in, got anyone else on lap? Checkered Devil flag is, is out. The 104. James is currently just under two tenths down his time, so he looks like he won't be improving. Oh, go board with Vettel who's currently just down his time in sector one. Vettel is currently in P16. He'll be looking to improve and potentially knock Mercedes off Immortal out. He's the last man. He's going to be one of the last across the line here. As he's coming through turn 9 and we'll stay on board with Alpha Tori for now. Takes turn 9, lovely, coming into turn 10 using all the track available, it's going to come up to the line, will he get out of Q2? No, it's going to be no, Q16 for the Alpha Tori and that is, that will be it for Q1. We did unfortunately miss uh, MT the Mighty joining the 104s as well as Primus Gaming and JD Devil Noob. Well, that is it for Q1. We should get the standings up in a minute. Here we go. And there we go. So, that is Q1 complete. The Williams of Lem top in the timing board, so with a 1 minute 4, 8, 5, 3. And in this session, we have lost SLR Vettel, Crane Flower, and SDK Modular Cap. Only losing three in Q1 there. But yeah, it's, it's going to start ramping up now in Q2. Lem and Devil Noob are not far off each other's pace. Devil Noob is only 10,000 off uh, Lem's then, lap what, there. One of the more competitive drivers. I believe it's 10,000 or 1,000s. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have just realised the championship leader Nifty Nasri is not racing tonight, so if Charisma can get a oh. good result, he will be potentially closing that champ. Well, he will be closing that championship that gap, gap, which is currently sitting at 33 no. points with Modular Cat sitting there 37 points behind. They're mortal and of the will. The Williams of Immortal sitting in P4 in the championship with a 55 point gap. Let's try. Have you got your telemetry on by any chance, Liam? Um, it should be on. Oh, I've got. 
I mean, I mean, sure. yeah, stick to Lego Sean. Just gonna wait to see who will be right. coming out of the pit lane first. As there is movement. A lot of cars are coming out to start the session as quick as possible. We've got the pass off. Oh, sorry, I have just been informed that Nasri has been, the championship leader, Na Nifty Nasri, has been moved up to Division 3. So the championship wow. really is still open for anyone here. Up for grabs, definitely. Here's some good points that uh, people in the fight for the championship can just take without having to fear the gap being extended at the top. We'll go on board with the Haas of Echo. This will be the we'll first be across the line to start this qualifying lap. I believe the Alpines and the Alphas or Ferrari should definitely start to create a bit of a gap for themselves because they have created some traffic. Yep, so we'll, we'll go through the lap of Echo right now in the Haas. <laughs> As it comes up to turn one. Again, an easy corner to invalidate on. As, as it goes wide, through turn one, it somehow doesn't invalidate his lap. That'll be another one that'll be closely looked at. As it does a 16 2 in the first sector. Davy oh. Devil now has to beat the half his time in sector one with a purple. Echo coming into turn four now is rear end slip the step out but he catches it. This is coming up to turn seven on this track. Coming into turn eight, it's a 46 flat in the middle sector for the Haas. JD Devil Move has also beat that time sector two. We'll go, we'll go on board with Devil Move once Echo is done with his lap. Come through turn 10, sliding about the rear end of the Haas. It's going to come up to the line that will be up 106. And the McLaren has smashed, smashed that it. time. We also got a lap. Rogue goes third. And Clates, the Ferrari of Clates goes through as we see Echo getting out of the way. Team is gaming, not oh. far off. Oh, uh, sorry, P1. James coming that across the line now, we'll see what the Alpha Tori can do, it's going to be P3 for James. We've got Charismic starting his lap, so Lewis, if you could take us through Charismic's lap. Alright, Charismic going up the... As we see, Lem going out, Lem, very good lap, up through turn flat. 3. Late we'll break into turn 3, good exit for Charismic there. To the LS on this straight. Very quick time so far. Yellow flag in sector two. You'll have to watch out for them as he goes through turn four. Very nice. Almost using all the track he can to the exit of turn four up to turn five. Let me keep it clean through here. Yes, he can. Down to turn six. There's a purple sector two as well for the Aston Very Martin. Good there. Coming up to. Turn 9, yeah, that was a purple 6 2 for the Aston Martin. Turn 9, keeps it clean on the exit there. Through to turn 10, keeps it clean as well. Open to the RS. Now, what will this time be? And it's that pole is a, for the Aston Martin. It's not that really pole, it's still Q2, mate. It's fastest. Get, getting a bit. I go for Q3. Yeah, you're absolutely right, I am. But because we've already seen some heavy competition in Q1 and now Q2. Can't see, wait for MT Q3. The mate, he didn't wasn't able to set a lap time while he was out. Got the Williams of Immortal about to begin his lap. As he comes around the final corner, he's going to open that DRS on the charge down to turn one for the Williams. Again, another very quick driver, as we've seen before, coming through turn one. He's taking it very nicely. Of course, watching that he's not going to invalidate in the exit. He 
can see what his first sector one time will be. It's going to be a 16 flat for Williams, making it a purple sector one. Trying to get him on the power as quickly as he can, coming out of turn three. This is a long stretch down to turn four. Breaking early, going down to second gear. He's using the track, keeping it nice and tight to the inside, going through turn seven. Again, getting to that apex. Using, again, using the track that is available to him. I think it was a 40, it's a purple sector too. As he comes up to turn nine now for the Williams. This has looked like a good lap from the Williams. It's gonna, as he comes through turn 10, it's going to open DRS and it's going to come to the line. It's going to be a 105 a really flat. Exactly. P2 and P3 for the Williams, separated by Currently watching the Alpine of Old Mansi, who is about to complete his lap. Never mind. Pulls into to the pit lane. We've got Star Sorfman oh. coming through Sector 1, Lewis, so if you could take us through that. This is 16-3 in the first sector. Take it away, Lewis. Coming up to the start of Sector 2. Uh, on to the third straight, I believe, Vorstria. Keeping it quick around here. Late breaking. Up to turn 4. On the exit of turn 4. Keeps it rather in the middle of the track. Down to turn five is now the curb there for the entrance and using the plenty of curb there on the exit down to turn seven. All right. Purple sector two Good for the Red Bull. There. Purple sector two here to turn nine. Will he keep it clean through this sector? He'll keep it clean there up to turn ten. It's clean as well. This could be a very good lap, but it won't it's put him going in to four. Be... Put him P6. Ooh. We've got the Mercedes of Immortal who invalidated his lap, unfortunately, so we'll be wanting to try and go again. Um, who else we got? Uh, it's quite, quite quiet. Know, quick Mick. Yep. Mick is on the lap. I don't know. Mick Could be. did get pole in Baku, if I remember correctly. It looks like uh, he's, uh, he's, he's low on fuel, yeah. quick Mick. He'll be boxing this lap. He's setting down his time. Yep. Yep. Not anyone a bit oh, stuck uh, on that. Empty the mighty, possibly, through turn one now. Exit to there, coming up to turn two. I believe this is a push lap. It is. Yep, it's take us through like this it. lap then, Lewis. With pleasure. Up to turn three, late breaking there. Good exit. And using the slightest bit of curb there for the exit. DRS open. That was a good sector one from him. Coming up to turn four. Plenty of curb there on entry. And a slight bit of curb. Not much on the exit. Coming up to turn six now. Can he keep it clean through here? Yes, he certainly can. Plenty of curb on the exit. Going through turn seven up to turn eight. Is a purple There's sector a two as well for the Red Bull. That was very much a, a very quick sector two to turn nine. Keeps it clean through there through turn ten. Also keeps it clean. This could be a very quick lap from the Red Bull as he goes P2. Incredible lap there. For good the Red lap. Bull. Take him from the bottom of the order Just straight up to one of the top places. Turn your audio up a wee bit, Lewis. People in the chat, if you could tell me if you could hear Lewis a bit better. I am going to attempt that now. My apologies. I've turned the volume up in the party, so... So, too, we've got the Alpha Romeo of Zom starting his lap, coming up to turn three, and he is low on ERS. And he is a tenth down, the Alpha Romeo currently. I believe James in the lap through turn one, but oh, he's lost the back end there on it. That will stay on, on board with Zom right now, see if he's going to improve in the very low ERS that he has. Mansley also on the lap, as well as Rogue. We'll see if Zom is improved on his time. He's half a second down. 
I'll go on board with James's uh, a tenth, like a tenth down a saw. Currently watching a moral now, so. I'll we'll stay, we'll stay on, on board with James. James, who's a very quick driver, as he is just under a tenth up in his current time of 105.3. We'll see if we can improve for the final two corners on this track. Coming through turn 10 now using everything that is available to him on that inside curve. It's going to come up to the line and he'll improve to P7. Lap, P7. Here comes the Man, Alpine Manze, though. He is going to go to P8. That's only P8. Good lap. Four minutes remaining in Q2. It's going to be up. But one of the cars at risk, GD Devil Noob, leaving the pit lane now. Start his lap. Oh, well, yeah, we'll stay on board with him. He's on an out lap as you speak. Yep. Was the they are winner probably gonna box now. at Baku last week? That was a very exciting race to watch, I must yep. say. It was a hard one in qualifying, is it? Started to was. rain at the start of Q3, of course, which quick Mick did capitalise on getting pole position, if I remember correctly. I believe he did, yeah. Yep. Quick Mick showing just what his name How quick means. Mick was really is. quick. Yeah. Well, as we see Devil Noob oh, just going across Devil turn eight. Going across. Don't know what's happening there. Don't know if he wants some grit on his tyres, or he's just going to completely just... come to a stop. Is almost. okay? The motor has retired, he's happy with his lap. He's letting Manzi through. through, yep. He is. Should be seeing Devil Noob starting a lap. Don't know what went on there. Manzi will also Could be just be starting a, a lap. Of attention. Mm -hmm. Going up to turn one. We'll go on, must remain on board with Devil Noob. See what he can do. As he begins. Against this lap, he'll be looking to improve and at least get into the top 10 here. But just, we've got about two and a half minutes remaining in Q2. We'll see who can advance to the top 10 shootout here in Austria. And, he, and Devil Noob does back off. Don't know what's happening. Mansi still on his lap. Yep, so we'll go on board with Mansi now, who is on move fuel. Watching turn six. This is going to be one of his last laps they've put in. Mm -hmm. Unless he's, he's just going to box him. Right down, now. Yep. Yeah, he's probably going to box. Yeah, he will box. Low fuel. We've got Zom coming up to turn three right now. He's, oh, he's half not a tenth boxing. He is going to complete the lap. But it will be no improvement for Manti. As Zom goes, as, as Alfa Romeo, if Zom goes purple through sector one, coming through to turn four now, as he will be looking to improve in that P10. He's currently the driver at risk. Still on board for his is. plates retires, thinking he's in a comfortable position, but. It's risky. There's a lot of cars out on a lap right now. I feel like they might come to regret that, but they might not. We'll see. He's got Zom coming through turn 9 and 10 right now. Coming through turn 10 now. Hit the apex using the exit curve. It's going to come up to the line and it's and it's going to stay P10. Yeah, alright. Starting his lap. But the McLaren and the Mercedes coming now to complete their lap. The McLaren will go Devil is starting to And Immortal will be 12. Oh, sorry. He, no, yeah, he was quick taking an extra warm up lap. Quick Mick is 4 tenths up on his time through the middle sector. Quick Mick has proven quick. he is very quick. He certainly will has. Will Mick be quick enough to go up? To oh, his James top already the invalidated his lap. Oh, James might not get round again as Mick's going to come up to the line and he's going to go to P9. Not entirely safe for the Mercedes. Got anyone else in the lap? Let's we'll see what Devil Noob is currently doing. Rogue may be on a lap as yep, Rogue speak. is on a lap. We'll stay on board with the McLaren of Devil Noob for now. As he's three tenths down. Check the flags out. It's Primus Gaming. Goes top of a 104.6. Oh. 
reflect that, but it's only 8,000. Look at that. See if Harris Devil Moon will improve this P13. He invalidates in the final corner. It will not Rogue improve. coming now to complete his lap. We'll see if the Alpha Moon can get through into the top 10 shootout. Will he get through? It's only P12. Oh, sadly, won't. Quick, Mick. I don't think he'll be improving as well. He's got no ERS, no fuel. He's going to keep he's going. He's one tenth up. See if he is. One tenth up. Not to being to get quick into Mick. the top ten. No. Sadly, he will not. That is. Quick, Mick was not quick enough. Quick, Mick was not quick enough to get through into the quick part of qualifying. But that is it for. Two. Indeed it is. Well, this is going to All be an exciting top 10 shootout. Yeah, absolutely Who are we well. waiting on? We're just waiting on Echo in the pits. Yep. As the half team <sighs> slowly but surely throw him in. Sadly, as you said, Star Surfing, our Division 5 champion last year, who was a regular out of Q3, will not be getting out of Q2 this time. As we as Premise came in tops the uh, timing sheets of 104.607, and we have lost Quick Mick, TYG Rogue, Star Surfing, last week's winner, JD Devil Noob, and the Mercedes of Immortal G. X. Well, just by looking at these times, it is. It will be a heavily contested Q3. Open. The Williams cannot be separated. Two thousands between the two of them. Mm -hmm. Got any predictions for Paul? I am gonna say Mansi or Clinch Paul. Mansi, Mansi. If anyone, now, that if anyone in the chat unpopular. has predictions, feel free to put them in. As I we're going Man to head to Q3 right now. I think Primus Gaming but, could, could certainly be up there with that Q2 lap. Mm -hmm. as, as you said, these drivers in, in this division especially can put together some absolutely outstanding qualifiers and races for us to watch. Yep. And I believe this true. one will live up to expectations. Greg saying charismatic for Paul. Zom saying he's going to go for it. May as well go for it. Me as well. Zom has been very quick. Yeah, he has Q3, been one of the quicker drivers. It's where it all matters. And the Alpine will be the first one out. The Alpine of Man's Primus Gaming. Oh, we'll go on board with Primus Gaming. One of the first out on the track. This, if I was to protect anyone from Paul, this is my man. You want Primus? Well, I'll go the other. As I said, I'll yep. go the other Alpine with Mansi. Got Clates coming out as well. Aaron saying Lem for ball position. And Mansi may be called old, but I reckon an old dog still can do some tricks for us today. Oh, we will see. There he goes. Yeah, that's a good play on words there. there. You go. That's English coming in well for me. Yeah, it could it could be here every Tuesday, so come back for those incredible lines by Lewis. Uh <laughs> We could can't start, wait. We could start, sure we could start doing a quote of the week with you. And if an RSF on quote of the week. We'll, if you want to think about I'm that, sure we'll get we... you that after Q3. As we're going to go on board with Primus Gaming, who did top Q2 as he starts his lap here in the top 10 shootout. So we're going to come up to turn one. going to be careful not to invalidate the season all the track. On the inside there, opening DRS to early. It's looking like a good turn one. He's going to get a toe off the Haas. I hope the Haas will be able to get out of his way nicely, which does happen. It's going to be a 16-2 in the first sector for Primus as he comes up to turn four now. Again, looking at another retool from the Williams there, pulls over nicely. 
come through turn four using the apex. A lot of folks decided to keep it off the exit curve coming through turn seven. Yeah, they are. It's, sick. it's going to be a 45 2 in the middle sector for the LP. I'm currently keeping an eye on Short the stretch and down back to the nine. Going for the plates after this. Trim is coming through turn yeah, 10. It's going to come up to the line. This is looking like a good lap. lap. It's a 104. It's a 104. Not a bad lap to start off the session with. I've got plates coming through turn 10 now. Plates on board with. Using all the track on own exit. Will he improve? And he does. He will. I'll be getting, two, I'll be getting to see another Ferrari on pole after Carlos Sainz does it. But Krismic coming through turn 7. He goes on the gravel and invalidates this lap. James comes up to the line with a 104.8. Lem going up with a 104.7. Dom's finishing his lap. So a 105.1. But this is the start of the session. The with a one and four nine. Put in. We'll go on board with Echoes coming through turn eight right now. The Williams falling behind the sector twelve for sector two. Yep. We'll go. We'll stay on board with Echoes coming through turn nine now to complete the short lap of the Red Bull Ring here in Austria. Coming through, it's going to come up to the line. What's it going to be for the Haas? It's going to be and a more than a more quick lap from the Haas there. Invalidated on turn 10 on X. Mansi went that way. Turn 10 now. He finished his lap. Where will Manzi he go? On the T8. Mortal has invalidated his lap. Mortal has invalidated his lap. So, the Mortal will be getting the time. Up early Q3. Charismic remaining in the pits, but I think he is coming out right now. A lot now. of people coming into the pits. Is. I'll stay with Charismic. Lewis, have you thought about your F1 quote of the week? My F1 quote of the week. I'm just yeah. giving you that a little bit more time. Oh, okay. You've got, I'll, I'll come up you've got seven minutes, ten seconds. I've got seven minutes. Not a fun. Just to spice up a wee bit. Aaron is putting suggestions for the quote in, but I don't think I can repeat it on stream. If you're intrigued to go look in the chat. What a shout out for that one. Stay on board the Charisma because he's the only man out on track. He's going to come through turn 9 to compare his Q3 lap. Come through turn 10, he's going to want to get the power early and open DRS up as he comes, as he goes on the stretch up to turn 1. Breaking out about 100 metres. Going down into fourth gear using all the track available. Coming in DRS quite early after the turn one exit is going to come up to turn three. It's going to be a 16 1 for the Aston Martin currently. Again, opening the DRS for the third and final time on this lap. No, not final time actually, but third time. Coming up to turn four. Again, going down to third gear. Taking the inside curve, it's coming up to turn six, I think, turn five or six. Oh, sorry, now they're coming into turn seven, into turn eight. It's a purple sector too for the Aston Martin. Let's see if he can improve, get a decent lap up on the board. It's come through turn ten. Using, using all the track, taking it perfectly. It's going to open DRS and it's going to come to light. It's going to be P7 with a 105. 105015. Alpha Romeo Zorn just going to start his yeah. lap now. Take us through that one, Lewis. Okay, going up to turn one now. He's lap to invalidate if you're Liam Higgins, but he does not invalidate there. Going up to the okay. second straight. 
<laughs> Coming up to turn two. So just keeping it quick up to turn three. Lay on the brakes there using all the track possible. That is a purple sector one for Zom. Good lap. Very early on the power there. Good lap so far. Coming up to turn four. Trying to gonna get, have to get the power down early on the exit this corner, but also not spin it. And he's done that absolutely perfectly there. Coming down to turn five. Sorry, turn six. Gotta keep it clean there. Using all the track there. Round turn seven. It's Get another. It's a purple middle sector. Round we could be eight. seeing a cracking lap this here. This is very from quick here. Coming up to turn nine. Will he keep it clean through here? To turn nine, he keeps it clean through turn ten. This is going to be a lap. It's also clean. This will be a cracking lap. What it's going it be, to though? be a 104.4. That is a brilliant lap for the Alfa Romeo. Last the times of the Ferrari of Klatt and the Williams of Lem. We've got Manzi coming through turn four right now. We'll go on board with Manzi. Coming up to turn six. Again, using all the track. Coming into turn seven. Easy to invalidate through here. Now into turn eight. We'll be looking to improve on his P9 currently. Coming through turn 9 now using all the track. As he has a moment. Coming out of turn 9 and he backs off. Not what Manzi would have wanted with 3 minutes remaining. And we've got the Williams of Lem. On an outlap. He's a very quick driver. See if Zom's gonna pull into the pit lane, which he does do. Now. He'll be absolutely chuffed with himself with that lap. That was brilliant to watch. Thank you for letting me go over that. Oh, yeah. There you go. The Alpha. So Manzi, oh, right, Manzi is not in the lap. lap. Oh, we'll go on board with Lem. This comes through turn 10. Oh, DRS to prepare for his lap. Coming up to turn one using all the track, he's going to hit that inside care, but it doesn't take turn one that aggressively. Got about two minutes left on the clock here in Q3. Comes up to turn three and he is half a tenth up in his tie with a 16 2 2 1. For uh, opening sector of this short lap round down here. Opening DRS on the third straight, come down into turn four. Hitting the apex, getting a lovely exit, lovely exit, turn four, sorry. Turn, turn six now, again using the, using track, turn seven, he's going to want to hit the apex and then get onto the apex of turn eight as quickly as he can. Try not to invalidate, Zom thinks he's done oh, enough on pole position. He's done. To see Lem coming through. It's going to be a. Uh, it's going to improve the Williams to P2. And I'm currently on board with Mansi, who is a lot. one a lap low on fuel. If Lem very can, quick. If Lem can get round, recharges ERS, he could be in my shot of pole here. Oh, never mind. Mansi sits 10 down. <laughs> Trimus Gaiman, who's on lap now, coming into turn six. I'm oh, no, sorry, six cents up. My apologies. As we I see Trimus Gaiman having Manzi. a lap, with Manzi six cents up. To complete his we'll lap. Go around. Come on, Manzi, come on, son. Oh, no. It's still nine. Four no, tenths up. No, Manzi. Who else? He's going to have to recharge and try and get. Oh, he is low on fuel, though. We'll go on ah. board with. The Ferrari of Clates is currently sitting in P3 and it's coming through turn 4 right now. As we speak, as Charismic oh, goes to the top of the timing charismic. sheets with 1 minute 4.465 4. 4. for the Aston Martin. He'll be happy with that. Zom thinking Dom. you're done Dom enough. will be absolutely human. We're still not going to count Lem out of this, to be fair, as he does pit. He won't be going again. Yeah. But final he 10 seconds of his top 10 shoot. We've got Clates coming through turn 9 right now. About to finish his lap. We'll see, on come the there. Oh, is that's close that's wide, but he doesn't invalidate. Big. We'll see where he's going to go. He's going to stay P4. He's going to go to P4. P4. So, Immortal 
is starting to If it did slap. improve, sure, so we'd have a look, but he didn't. So I believe. I'll just leave that be. Manzi will not improve. We've got MT the Mighty, who is a tenth up for the first sector. We'll go on board with the Red Bull coming through turn eight now. It's taking it lovely. We're going to have Primus Gaming following MT the Mighty. MT the through. Mighty about to finish his lap. Keeps it clean through there. What will it be for the Red Bull P6? It's going to be P7 for Primus Gaming. We've got James coming through turn nine, who's the 10th oh. down this time. Can he find anything for the final few corners? No, he can't. Anyone else still on the lap? Immortal, Immortal is still on, on the lap, but he is, oh, I feel like but he's he is down. Yeah, he's it going is to charismatic it. on pole position. Pole position. Here in Austria with Zom, who thought he had done enough. But Outstanding he didn't. Lap. That is a I'm brilliant sure. lap for the Aston Martin. So, it's... so there we have it. A very chaotic Wally. sector of three. Q3, sorry. <laughs> Everyone's saying Charismic to be promoted. So that is it for qualifying round two. We've got the Aston Martin of Charismic taking pole position, followed by the Alpha Romeo of Zom and Lem making up his top three. Then we've got the Ferrari of Clates, the Williams of Immortal. Good qualifying for them. We've got MT the Mighty and Premise Gaming in 6th and 7th. James in P8. Alpha Torian, and we've got Echo and Manzi rounding out Q3. Well, that was an interesting qualifying. It certainly was. And I've just realised I've been saying thousands, but it's really hundreds yeah. of seconds. Right, Lewis. End of Q3. Huh. Can we get you a quote End now? Of Q3. Can we get the quote? I can assume that all Charismic was thinking at the end of that lap was a hundred percent if I don't achieve that but you're just waffling now oh, right one second <laughs> you're just waffling now I am waffling as we will have a wee short break currently back. as we wait for the formation lap to begin here in one second Austria I've got the quote coming up Liam don't you worry. Oh dear. Don't you worry. Well, I'm going to go away and get a quick drink. I'll be back in a minute. All right. Hey, everyone, well, as gone, here is your quotes, everyone. I bet you Christmas was thinking 100% perfection. To reach 100%, that's my target. I am just that kind of person. As the late, great Michael Schumacher said. But now, Charisma will be saying that. And Aston Martin will be absolutely delighted with that. That, that quality was... Outstanding, not as tight as other ones I've seen, but that was still very good from everyone putting in their laps. They certainly entertained us all, and um, I'm sure you have all enjoyed the soothing voice of Liam Higgins tonight. Just can't get any better than this. <laughs> but as we wait for the drivers to be ready there on the grid, I hope you have all enjoyed the live stream so far and uh, it's been very fun to do my first one for all of you in the chat especially greg and aaron it's been very good to try and entertain you tonight but we will see how the race plays out how different strategies may play out for different drivers i'm sure zone will be anxious to maybe get a move move uh, complete on charisma on turn in turn one uh to just Take the lead, as he thought he should have in quali, but that's the one thing in these qualifiers you can never, never expect to stay where you are. If he, I feel he retired a bit too early, he should have. If he put another lap in, he may have improved, may have not, but uh, that was a good quali. I know I'm absolutely waffling now, but that was... Um, exciting to see and this will be exciting to see everyone stay tuned to live in the live chat because this will be a very exciting race coming up for you i have 
returned. And he's back, the soothing voice of Liam Higgins, as I said. Lewis, you're getting the appreciation, big sinky. Lewis, you're, you're his goat. Eh? Adam is, oh, a sinky is giving you the appreciation. Is that is that his name? Football, uh, yeah. football rival. Mm -hmm. So you got, any, you got you got any got any words for him? Or not be watching? Um. Oh, I was I was just talking to them away there. I was saying, um, stay tuned because this will be a rather exciting race. Brew and flowers just say, can we get a reverse grid start, uh, please, no. fellas? Uh, no. No. Get quick. I had to tell you. <laughs> I was a bit rude. That was that was rather rude. Yeah, that, 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 I, um, apolog I apologise to Crane Flower. Definitely. Adam, that's not how you spell my name, bud. Just as brain dead as ever. But we have to wait on the drivers getting ready. Getting yeah, you're, you're, up, just, getting you're just getting them. Just getting everything now. As we All go right. to the formation lap. As we go to the formation lap. Chris Mick leads the way. I wonder what kind of strategy he would go. Will he go for a fast formation lap or a slow one to try and... Yep. We'll be getting the uh, possible some, some strategies tension. up in a minute. Hopefully. Would love to see that. As I'll take you through the full grid right now, so... In last place, we have S. the Ferrari of Modular Cat, and then we've got with Hast of Crane Flower. Don't know what's going on uh, in the back here. Yeah, then we've got, was sitting still. Then we've got Vettel and Immortal. Ah, under the P6 Then we've there. got Devil Noob, last week's winner, and last season's Division 5 champion starts off in, in 14th and 13th. We've got Rogue and Quick Mick in 12th and 11th. The top 10, Manze in P10. We've got Hass of Echo in P9. Another quick driver last season, James in P8. And then we've got Premise Gaming, who had a stonking lap in Q2. We've got the Red Bull of MT the Mighty. Good one of the Williams of Immortal in P5. We've got the Ferrari of Clates in P4. Good qualifying for him. Lem being the better of the Williams in P3, it's a good qualifying for them. We've got Zom in P2 and Charismic is your man on pole position. That was a good rundown. I don't know if the strategies. I believe it's the same as all the other races, mediums to hards or I think it was hards to mediums to mediums. I don't know. I've just got a... But we'll see how every strategy is playing out. Just got a hope for a good camera angle to start this race. Absolutely, and we'll hope for one of the one of the cleaner races, maybe. But oh, then again, a safety car does create some some confusion, which is always fun to watch and to see how the drivers react to that. Mm -hmm. So I'm disqualified for not parking correctly. That's not great, and so is premise. As we're not going, we might not get a good two. camera angle here. Oh no. Yeah. I'm we'll trying to get a restart as well as we can. John Flower also can't park the car. And uh, Module Cat taking his time, I believe. To get to this good position. And here we go. As we go Bad to five angle. red lights here at Austria. And it's foot to the floor. We are racing here in Division 4. It is a good start for Chris Mick, who comes over to cover off Zom and P2. Zom's going to try and go around the outside here at Turn 1. But it's not going to happen. As we see them coming up to up Turn 4, we've got Clayton making a move on Lem for P3. Being interrupted by race strategies. And it's almost three wide. There's a lot of carnage up at Turn Three cars going wide, cars hitting each other and everything. And so it's Chris Mc leading from Zom, Lem, Clates and Primus Gaming rounding up his top five. Good. It's, it's a good start for Chris Mc. He wants to get start. over and cover off Zom. That was a very good start. Played it perfectly in terms of defence and just got a good exit. Well, others were scrambling to try and fend off others. 
near the middle of the Got pack. Got Modular Cat making up three positions on the start, as well as Immortal and Rogue making up two. Make that four for Immortal as he gets past James for P11. See, we've got, got, we've got me, Quick Mick going wide to get past Rogue. As Charismic leads them from Zom and Lem at turn one. With Clates chasing as Modular Clack goes to remove on Manzi up into. Rogue gets a three second time penalty. It's not, I not ideal this early on in the race, but. Definitely track not. are quite strict around here. Oh, Chris make it a not a great X out of turn three there as we, we stop getting in, right? Trying to go for a move. Up to We're going board this and Zom gets it done before turn turn four. And he's got we have it a done. new race leader here in Austria. But will Chris let's go for the counter? Again, continue going side by side down towards turn seven. This is Zom's gonna racing. stay ahead. But you want in, Chris will be wanting a good exit onto the straight so we can use the slipstream gap only less than a tenth now. We've got Charisma right on Zom's gearbox here. As we're coming to lap 3 of 36, as Primus Gaming sets the fastest lap, and DRS will be enabled this lap. So that comes out up now. It's not been a good start for Manzi, it's down in P15. As I, get, I could see Lem going for a move on Charismic. Charismic stays ahead. I'll be getting DRS, we'll stay on board with this as we get Zom. Charismic. And Charismic Maybe and Zom going to stay by, by side. Lem. Zom on the hards. He's not going to make a move in a turn four as Charismic goes wide on the exit. That may allow Zom to get through. Zom gets a good exit. I can imagine he's going to back out here and he does. They're gonna go s no, I thought they weren't gonna go side by side down to turn seven and eight, but it's not really a smart thing to do. So we've got yellow flags in sector two. There's an Alpha Romeo off. It is Rogue who's gone off. Yellow flags all over. Is it as Yep, Rogue VSC? has gone off. Nope. Just Yep, I think we have a VSC actually. Yep. Yep, we do. Uh, as it stands and position wise, uh, Vettel at the bottom of the uh, running cards, two positions down off the start, Rogue down five, Creon Flower think, up, up by I one I think Vettel position. did have to pit. Yeah, Rogue's pitting now, so Vettel will be only down by one. Uh, Orphan down by two, Mansi sadly down by four, Modular Cat, great start, up by five positions off the start. James down by four, unfortunate for him. Devil Noob up by three. Immortal with an also very good start up by five positions. Quick Mick up by two. Uh, Echo to, uh, Tallies, I think that's how you pronounce it. Echo, well, Echo is still by himself, or I believe possibly up by one. It's written up an odd display for me. Immortal down by two. MT the mighty holding position in six. Clats down by one at Primus Gaming up by three Lem still holding position in third and as we know Charismic is down by one as Zom took the lead of the Grand Prix Let's go green again here in Austria We've got Charismic right in the back of Zom they're all bunched up together let's we'll see if we can get any moves down in uh, turn one it's just a train of the top eight could see Primus Gaming going for a move on he Lem. He has gone for the move. But Lem. It's still going to continue going side by side. Back. As Lem does get the move done. But here comes Primus. the Ferrari. And Clates, Clates is going to go for it. And, and Lem does have to get in the way to avoid it. Primus Lem Gaming is like you at saving the RS. Lewis has nothing. Oh, and, and Lem's went from and P3 MP down to P6. Is down to P6. Not, not a great safe uh, BSD restart from Lem. Let's see what else can happen though. Echo overtakes Immortal there through Vector 2. He's up by 2 positions. Get starting grid. We'll see. I'll stay on board with this 
bunch at the front of the pack. Zom still leading from Chris um, and oh, Trimus Gaming Mikey now. Has, I believe he might have taken some damage. Oh, he's crashed. He is down by a lot of positions there. Don't know what happened. He is just. I believe. Yeah, As Chris Mike picks up a three a second penalty for. The wrong way. To see. As Krismic picks up a three second penalty, which can only listen for track limits. Is and um, Stamite is missing the front wing. Yeah. Don't know what happened there. But that has put. Got. Got a more all. P5. Wow. I think that was. Quick Mix trying to go for a move on a mortal down into turn four, I think it was. But Primus Gaming right in the back of Chris now. Of course, did pick up that three second penalty earlier on in the lap. Does get a better exit to Alpine. Is he going to go for a move down to turn nine? No, he's, no, he's not. He will try and get his move down into turn number one. DRS open. For the Alpine, but it's not going to be enough. He's got, he's got no ERS already on lap seven. Got any? Got. We'll stay on board with this so for now. Mike comes into the pits to repair that front wing. That is completely gone. This will put Crayon Flower, Rogue, and Beto up into P15, 17, and got a Mortal and Mick battling. I'm going to stay on board with the top three. Modular Cat now up by eight positions off the start. Great race for him so far, but he is being challenged by the avatar of James. Going through sector two now. James is hot on his tail. Oh. Uh, were those Mercedes having a bit of contact between each other? I saw. I think it was a mortal. Yeah, yeah, mortal was a bit, a bit wide into the track. I think they were going side by side. As now modular car is chasing after the Mercedes. That is a big DRS trade in the midfield. Will any overtakes be made up to turn one? No, they will all remain the same. As we start lap eight. Yeah, we've got Primus. Gonna try and get past Chrismic on this lap. And the Ferrari of Modular Cat has sent. Oh, there's a Williams spun round up at turn three. A Williams and a Red Bull, I believe. No, it's, it's been a horrific race so far for Immortal. It's not been good for him so far. Modular Cat made up a position on the materials of Immortal D. Modular Cat the and Mick. We're going to try and go side by side through turn six. Oh, but Modular Cat made up that. Say it wasn't going to be a good idea. As Mick picks Mick up a three, three second, second penalty. penalty. Not great for his race. Modular Cat now up by 11 positions. Going to start and place. What a race for him so far. Could be, could be seen. Potentially switch to lead. The Zom goes wide in turn one and hits. And hits. Grimace gaming resulting in Zom getting damaged. That's going to put Clates up into third position. Not a good, not a good result for the Alpha Romeo who did go wide in turn one. And Primus gaming did hit him as we see Vettel pick up Vettel a three second three penalty. Second. Oh, we'll see on board here as we've got Primus gaming all, all over the gearbox of Charismic. Coming down into turn six right now is MC the Mighty sits the fastest lap of the race with a 10682 one. is more than Clates one is second not, lead. Clates is not far behind Primus Gaming. As he picks up a three second penalty, That's not what second. he would have wanted. Could be seeing a switch for P2 here. Plate's only four tenths behind the Alpine, but decides not to go for the move into turn one, but he might go for it up in this straight. Primus with barely any DRS. 
but yellow flags in sector two. It's been Alfa Romeo or Vettel, I think. This is a moment. I believe, yes, it is. As a mo we see a motor pick up a three second penalty as well. Plates. Like the real life Grand Prix. Yep, got the Ferrari of Plates gaining on Trimis. Up by well. We've got Zom gaining on the top three as well, who did have that collision with Primus. The Clates, he is all over the back Bottom of this as well. We've got Yellow Flag That's Sector 2. I think it could That's be on. for Crayon Flower, yep. Yeah. We have damage. And we jump in, Zom has crashed. Oh no! Zom has crashed, we have a safety car and pit lane. Zom is out of the session. Modular cat tried to pit, but it failed too. We've got a safety car. Everyone behind this has worked out well for him as the pit window is opening about now. So as it stands, we've got Aston Martin of Chris Mix still leading from pole position. And we've got Primus Game in and Clates rounding up the top three with the Williams of Lem and P4. We've got the other Ferrari of Modular Cat who's had a brilliant race so far. This does have the penalty. We've got Star Sorfin in, in sixth, James in seventh, Manzi in eighth. Echo has pitted onto the intermediate tires. Uh, Stewart's could be having a look at that. We've got Devil Noob in eleventh. And then we've got the two Mercedes of Immortal and Quick Mick in twelfth and thirteenth. And then we've got MT the Mighty in P15. I will try that. Well, thank you, Aaron. As a mortal picks up a drive through penalty, speeding under safety car. As we, as Echo has pitted onto Inters as well as Primus Gaming, sorry, I didn't see that one. And Immortal as well. Are we seeing a wee bit of rain coming down? Certainly would spice up this Grand Prix a bit. So we've had a change in leaders. We've got a Ferrari of Modular Cat, now leading from Star Sorfin, and here is the rain. And Charismic is in. Third just pitted onto mediums as well as clays on the hard, so I may have to pit again. See the leader starting to pit for intermediates and immediate tires. I'm just going to try and invite Devil Noob back in. I've attempted, I don't know if it went through though. Because I do not have him added. And Lem is gone. He retired, oh, he's been DQ'd. As we are seeing people starting to pit for the intermediate tyres, we've got Modular Cat staying out on the mediums, Chrismic still on mediums, Manzi still on mediums, we've got Devil Noob on softs, Star Sorfin on the intermediates, Empty the Mighty on the mediums, Quick Mick on the wet tyres, and that will be it.
My dear biscuits, that is correct. That is a gamble by Quick Nick. As he now comes into the box to switch them. There's the modular cat, modular cat, all the um, dry tire runners. Now come in, track is certainly looking wet. So we've now got the Alpine of Primus Gaming leading from a hassle of Echo Devil Loop, who's still but trying to get back in, I believe. Got Star Sorphin in P4, MT the Might 8 in P5, Plates in P6, Rogue in P7. We've got James in P8, and the two Immortals rounding out the top 10 so far. I'll try and invite the Devil Noob again. Mediums. Yeah, I attempted. I don't know if it was the right account though, because he is on PC, I believe. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car is in. Let's see how the race oh. plays out. So they restart. Will Primus get going as yeah. quick as he can, or will it be... Devil, I have tried to invite Devil in the back numerous times. He is on PC, so I will be... Have, I have invited him through Xbox, as Primus is just waiting to release the pack here. When is, is he going... He's leaving it late. When is he going to go? Late. I'll go now. Gets a good restart leading from Echo. We've got people pulling into the pit lane. That's premise gaming leading from Echo and Star Sorfin into turn one. Could be seeing Echo's getting a good tour of premise. Premise has. I don't know what his ERS is like. It's not going to go for the move. Could we see any other moves and into turn Maybe three. just made the move on Montreal Cat. They are side by side still. Got, we've got Echo trying to go for the move on premise and turn point is not going to get it done. And, and Mortal has been going to I'll be, I'll will be trying to stick on the tail of the Alpine. Portion in sector two. That's for an Alphatari or Vettel. I'm yes, yeah, I'm there was going to try and get spun round or I'm going to keep trying to get Devil Noob in here. I've invited him like numerous times, but I don't know if it's just I don't know if Vettel, ha Vettel has is missing a side pod. As I'm fortunate, he has had just a very poor race this afternoon. Let's see, we're coming to box. Got a mortal, I've got the Mercedes of a mortal pulling into the pit lane as well. So we've got Primus leading from Echo and Rogue's made a move into third position. He could still be having Star Sorfing for company as he goes wide through turn three. Stars is going to be side by side heading down to turn four. Red Bull just not having the power to get the move done. Oh, He's going to stay behind. As, as Primus... Premise has crashed. Oh, it's carnage. So Rogue now leads from James Echo. And Clayton's Clay retired. We've got another safety car ah, here in Austria. The stewards will have to take a look at Echo. The stewards will be having a look at that one indeed. Oh! Echo's a five centimeters throwing a yellow flag. And there was even more contact. Oh dear. And that Manzi is has Alton. DNF'd as well. No! The other cars of Mighty and Immortal and Devil Nerd will be lucky to have missed all that car. Rogue picks up for 5 seconds for speeding in the pit lane. So it will be James now leading the Grand Prix.
So we'll unlap 17 of 36. That's correct. We have, J we have the Alpha Tower of James Leadham from the House of Echo. Mr. Sorfman remaining in P3. And then we've got Immortal and Charismic in P4 and 5. Now we've got Crane Flower in P6. Good recovery drive from him so far. We've got Premise Gaming who did have the spin, I believe. And good to see Devil Loop has joined us again. Then we've got Empty the Mighty in P8, Rogue in P9, the Mercedes of Immortal in P10. Then we've got Devil Noob, Modular Cat, Quick Mick and Vessel rounding out the remaining drivers. James will just have to either keep Echo behind him or just stay within range because he does not have a chance to play. Echo does, Orphan does not, so he will be possibly anxious to stay within, I believe it's three seconds Echo has. Penalty. No, oh, I like a five second penalty. So James will be not particularly bothered with Echo as well. Uh, so, in terms of penalties, Echo has five seconds. We've got Immortal and Chrismic on three seconds. Primus is three seconds. Rogue has eight seconds. We've got um, Modular Cat on six. And Quick, Quick Mick and Vettel on three seconds. Everyone on the intermediates looking at the position changes. We've had um, James and Echo both up seven positions. We've had Star Surfing climb up ten. Immortals up one. Charismic is down four from pole position. Crane Flower up eleven. Primus is, is remaining in P7 where he started. Empty the Mighty down two. We've had Rogue up 3, Immortal up by 5, Devil Noob up by 3, Modular Cat up by 6, Mick, Quick Mix gone down by 2, and Vessel has climbed 2. Race still is open for anyone's take in here. Was, could be seen safety car coming in the next lap or so. We'll remain out for now. And it will be one of the Division 5 contenders from last season, James, who will lead them away on the restart. I have to say, James is a very quick and competitive driver. Obviously, they get promoted from Division 5 to Division 4 in RSF1 from last season. This race really is still open to anyone. Absolutely. I believe at this point, safety car may be called in at the end of this lap. Yeah. I'm sure all that's in Echo's mind is getting in front of Jane and trying to create a gap due to that. And we're not even going to roll Star Surfing out of this yet. Absolutely not. Of course, yes. the Division 5 champion last season. Or on lap 19 of 36 yep, in the safety in car will lap. be in this lap. James will be leading us away on lap 20 of 36, leaving 17 laps. Remaining from the restart. So it's, it's now up to James now. He's not wanting to release too early and he's not wanting to go too late. So it's currently James leader from Echo, Star Softman, and then it's Immortal, Charismic, Crane Flower, and Primus. Empty the Mighty Rogue and Immortal rounding out the top 10. We're about to get racing again here in Austria. It's up, it's up like to James, James now when he's going to go. going now on the exit turn. James is gone. He's caught Echo out. 
taking a cautiously through turn 10 and we're going and green Gordon once again here in, here in Austria. James getting the perfect restart and starts off in his film 1.7 seconds behind Echo. Going a bit wide through turn 1 which will allow Immortal to make the move in. Crainsaw picks up a 3 second penalty as Immortal makes a move up to P3. Could be seen starts off and making another move. Charismic looking at the move down the inside. Starts off and goes wide. That could allow Charismic to come through. Go, a go on board with Aston Martin. And starts off and picks up a three second penalty. Charismic still going to go for the move up. As there could be seen a change in lead here. Echo right on the gearbox of James. Back top of the move. And Charismic does get ahead four. of Starts off and coming through to sector three now. As James leading from Echo, Immortal, Charismic, Grove, Star Softening, Crane Flower, Devil Move climbing up to P8, into the mighty P9 and Modular Cat sitting at P10. Okay, but with all the penalties, anyone, anyone put a pen, if anyone keeps it clean, they're getting a result from this. So far, James is like this. I don't want to skip too early, but he could be in it to win it if he keeps it clean. Oh, and who's that? Who's that? We've got a. Uh, that's someone going wide. I'm unsure who it was. There's a mortal. It's higher from this session. In the pit lane, so. There'll be no penalty for him, unfortunately. As we see Vettel Bet and Crainflower swapping positions. Mortal will be looking to gain on Echo here. As Rogue. Gets the move done, Chris McMahon can go side by side through turn four and they're gonna to continue to go side by side. I think Rogue, Rogue does stay ahead going into turn five. And more was only going to be flags as Crane Flower has fun by the looks of it. We've got right. as we've got about, as we have a another safety, safety car. car on lap 21 out of 36. It is a safety car. Again here in division four, so it still is. James leading. We've still got James leading from Echo and Immortal ranks in the top three as Echo is going to pimp. Don't know if he has damage or not. So, again, James, it will be James leading from Immortal, Rogue, and Charismic. Devil Loop climbing up to P5 after disconnecting. Good recovery from him. Star Sorphin and P6. Got Modular Cat in P7, MT the Mighty in P8, Primus Gaming in P9, SLR Metal in P10. Then rounds out the rest of the grid, it is Quick Mick in, in 11th, and the two Hasses both have boxed in P12 and 13. Not the race Hass would have wanted tonight, but you know, these conditions are just so unpredictable. Down to you. Absolutely. Unlucky for the Williams team. Of course, Immortal is still in it for a podium position, but unlucky for Lane to have been defused. Of course, yeah, I'm, very good quality performance. Of course, I'm rooting for the Williams for a constructor's fight. As it stands, two cars that are most likely going to be in it when it are Devil Nib and James. But Devil Nib will have to somehow close up quite a few positions to get even anywhere near James. We're not even going to. We're not even going to count Devil Nib out of this, by the way. I think the safety car could be in this lap on lap 23 out of 36. Yeah, it looks like it. all the cars have caught up. We'll, we'll just have to wait for Crane oh, Flower to... Let's go wait for Crane Flower to catch up, which shouldn't take long. Obviously, Lewis, we do head to 
another fan favourite and driver favourite circuit next week. Circuit Spa uh, Bronkershop. How are you feeling for that one? I'm very excited for that. I mean, first of all, you do just have to hope you get a drive, you know? Yep. I do Sitting in a reserve that. roller now. But yeah, it, it should was, be. Um, an exciting race to have from our first uh, driver than I said. Obviously, it was but very chaotic in Division 5 last season. The safety car in will lap. be pulling in this lap. Will James <laughs> be able to retain his P1? James, bear in mind, is penalty three. Three, one of only four drivers on track right now not to have a penalty. So if he can keep it clean, not pick up any. Oh, and a Ferrari He's gone. in for a shout. Oh, and, Mo and Modular Cat That's has fun. Oh, oh, it's just typical Ferrari at this point. <laughs> I want to broadcast for you as James race. will be looking just when to release. And we are just going to go again as Modular Cat catches up to the back. And that time is not now. And off he goes. On, going on to lap 24 out of 36 here in Austria. Got, got James. We've got could be seen Rogue making a move on Immortal, sorry, but it didn't happen. So you come up to turn through. We've got Devil Move going side by side with Charismic. Old Devil Move getting the move done into P4. They're gonna go side by side into turn three. Oh, and oh, what's happened up here? That was a bit silly from that Alpha. We've got James and Immortal going side by side for the lead. James is going to stay ahead, but could Immortal be making a move into turn four? No, he's going to stay behind. We've got Rogue and trying to go round the outside of Charismic, but won't happen. We've just got cars going Mate side by side P4. everywhere. Could be seeing Devil Noob going for the move on Charismic now. And Devil Noob does get done for four. Sector three. So it's James leading from Immortal and Rogue is right on the rear end of Immortal for P2 here. We've got Clay on the flight of Sector 3 and it's for Clay and Clay and Flower. Who would have thought? Oh, it's gone from bad to, to worse for Clay and Flower. He is, he is basically becoming the new Nikita Madsen, I hate to say it. But he has spun round multiple times this race. I don't know if he's in oh, condition. Very unlucky for him. Was that Immortal going wide by the looks of it? Yes, it was. Devil Noob going up to P4, so it's... Oh, it's three on five rounds again. Oh, dear. So, at the minute, it's James leading for Alpha Romeo behind Rogue, MT the Mighty, and Devil Noob. Speaking of that, we've got and the MT the Mighty going for the move on Rogue. They're going to go side by side down into turn four. But yellow flag sector two. Don't know who it's for. Like, oh, but MC Mighty mix. doesn't get a good exit, but Rogue does. Rogue's gonna get back ahead of the Red Bull. This is very good action late on in the race. Gonna stay on board with this. At the minute. As, as Premise Game and Rogue pick up 30 second better. penalties. This is favouring Devil Noob and MT the Mighty right now. Absolutely, that's that. Oh, it looks like it'll dear. be our podium. Oh, I think, I think James will hang on to the win. And then we'll have MT the Mighty we'll have and Devil Noob. Yep. Well, we've got about 11 laps remaining here at Austria. We've got MT the Mighty gaining on Rogue. It's going to be a good battle for P2 on track. It will. Here comes Mighty. You can see how late he's trying to get on the brake to catch up or get a good exit. Oh, and Rogue's going for a move on James. Could be seeing a switch for the lead here, and Rogue does get it done. Could be, be seeing James going ah. for a move back down at turn four. They're going to go oh. side by side. Slight contact, slight, slight contact between the pair. But Rogue the is there. your race leader. So it's a Rogue leading from James, empty the Mighty, and Devil Noob. Modular Cat and Premise Gaming swap in positions for the P7. Oh! This, this is. And the Red this, Bull as, just drove through the Alpha Tower. 
Ah, and Devil Noob's disconnected again. We'll need to try and get him oh, back in. And James had an absolute. Could be Just seeing James go for a move on the Red Bull here. We've got yellow flag set to free, and oh, Bell has up. retired, and that is another safety car. Another safety car. We're going to try and get Devil oh, Noob back in one. here. Try and get late drama, and who would have thought? I feel like Creon spun again. It looks like he did. He is very far behind. Fifty-two seconds. I mean, right, Devil Noob, if you're listening to the stream, you have been invited back. So, at the minute, we've got a rogue leading. With uh, with 11 seconds of time penalties, followed by MT the Mighty and James, and we've got rounding up the top three. We've got the Willems of Immortal in P4 carrying a three-second penalty, and we've got Rogue Devil down. Noob <laughs> sitting in P5 with Echo behind him for company in P6. Then we've got Star Sorfin in P7 carrying a three-second penalty. Charismic in eighth with a three-second penalty as well. Primus Gaming in ninth. With a three second penalty as we see Rogue pulling into the pit lane. Got Mo I've got Modular Cat. James, three second penalty. Modular Cat with six seconds. Mick with three seconds. Oh. Crane Flower with that. Oh. And Mighty. And, and, and James late. pulls into the pit lane. This could be as a well. race. As we see, as we've got Echo, Rogue, Charismic. Primus Game and Modular Cat and Mick pulled into the pit lane. So we have MT the Mighty leading the Grand Prix from James and Immortal in second and third. Devil moving P4. With, we are trying to get back in with um, Star Sorphin in P5, Rogue in P6, Echo in P7, Charisma in P8, Primus in P9, Modular Cat in P10. Mick and Crane Flower in 11th and 12th. It looks like this is Mighty's race for the taking with both the podium position and runners having three seconds. Devil Noob, if he gets past them, could be in contention for the win. But if not, he's most likely going to get a podium out of this. Just trying to get. Now I've invited Devil Noob back in. Still, we forget that one, mate. He is still in for a taken. He could be getting back to backs. Devil Noob is back in. That's good to hear. I believe he is. And my oh my, Creon Flower making this safety car last forever. He will be. Unless the FIA just As we say see fall it. Modular cap pulling into the pit lane. From P10, I think. Yeah. Modular cap have damage. He was in that pit stop for quite a while. Unless that's just Ferrari being Ferrari with the probably, yeah. stops. Yeah, probably. Well, if there's anyone who's going to be taking this win, I'm, I'm predicting Devil Noob going back to back. I reckon this is Mighty's race for the taking. He's got it all there. No, but you know, you know we don't want to put the commentators curse on anyone. I know I don't, but you just put it on Devil Noob probably, so... I, mean, I still want Devil Noob to win as a passionate McLaren fan. The only time we'll see us win him in here. Yeah. Laps 29 out of 36. 
And we'll cross the line, we'll have seven laps remaining. And a good few of these will still be under safety car, thanks mm -hmm. to Modular Cam crew on Flower. But Creon definitely not putting a good name on the Haas. Still 23 seconds behind and has been spun around more times than I care to count for. This has not been a good race for Haas, has it? Absolutely not. Echo has been... Echo's, Echo's, been Echo's doing well. He could get a podium if he... If the midfield up towards like P2 stay bunched up, Rogue's get uh, sorry, Echo's getting a, a podium. He could very well get a podium. Or if he makes some moves of the safety car restart. Laps 30. Here we are. Of 36. This will be a good one towards the end. Mm -hmm. Oh. A safety car will be in this lap. Don't know if Crane Flower's going to catch up or not. Probably not. I mean, yep, yeah, think think we'll catch up. As it's yeah. just up to as it just as it is up to the Red Bull now. I cannot speak tonight. But it's now just up to the Red Bull. So it's empty and mighty leading from James Immortal, Devil Move and Star Sofa and rounding up your top five. Mighty taking us long as Yeah, we'll go on here. board with James for a restart. And Mighty is getting going. As Mighty has here gone, he's released lap 31 out of 36, six laps remaining. We're racing again here in Austria. MC Mate is going to keep the lead through right. into turn one and Devil Move Ooh. has a spin. Oh, As, oh that is. Oh, oh gosh, I am so I am so sorry. I'm pretty sure Red Bull is also around the orphan. I don't know if they spun each other out. Oh, that's it. I smacked up through the second second penalty. Got Echo gaining on we've got Rogue. Gaining on the water for P3 is going to make the move round the outside into turn four. They're going to stay side by side. Mortal gives them a wee tap, but Rogue will stay ahead. So there's MT the Mighty leading from James Rogue and Rogue in the uh, podium positions. So we've got Immortal leading from Echo to round out the top five. So if Echo keeps on it, that nah, just as I say oh. that you get picked. Oh. Got yellow flag sector three and modular cat is off by the looks of it. He is, and as Immortal well as Immortal was slowed down oh by dear. that. He's going very slow in sector three. Well, five laps remaining now. Echo has pitted and retired. Oh, it was going so well for Echo. Yeah. Now I think now what MT the mighty needs to do, he just needs to bring this home. So this needs to bring this home and he will yeah, win. Modular Cat yeah. has also retired from the session. Devil could still be getting some good points here. We've got 10 people remaining. This Devil Move goes up to P8. Look at any and there's battles. your Williams. We've got down to P9. At least everyone who's in. Um, Gonna finish, we'll get a point. Yeah, Points for everyone. Point. Uh, could be, could be seen we'll be making a move on MT the Mighty soon. Yeah, this, ha this has been, been a good drive from MT the Mighty. Oh, absolutely. He kept it in the lead, but here's the Alpha Romeo on his tail. We're gonna, we're gonna yeah, stay on board with this, could be making a move. MT the Mighty, move. he would like to. We'll see what the penalties are looking like. Well, Rogue does have it. six seconds, but empty the mighty he would want to win this on track, I can imagine. So we've got Rogue with six seconds, Primus with six Bad seconds, James with three, 
James with three, Mick with six, Chris Mick with Maybe three, Craig Flower and Rogue's going to go for the move down into turn three. They're going to go side by side. Rogue's going to make the move. He's going to outbreak himself, which will allow into the mighty back through. Hopefully, Ali spins it. Oh, he spins it. Oh, he spun. Oh, dear. Premis gets a three second time penalty. Stop. I had Mick, quick Mick, making a move into P2. Six seconds of penalties, and I can now just imagine it this will like be ending the mighty's race. Will be the next podium, podium sir. Everyone in front of them has mate. Premis has nine seconds with penalties, and Quick Mike has six. This is, this is still so unpredictable who'll be getting the podium, but if Empty the Mighty keeps it clean, I think it will be his for the second race win here in. Austria. It looks like Premis may be catching Quick Mick, only one tenth behind he is. Going I'll, I'll stay behind. Got well, Premis getting in the slipstream of Mick. Could be looking at a move into turn one, but the Alpine has little to no ERS. Get that up to you right now. Just That's under 10% of ERS for the, the ERS. Alpine. We've seen Crane Flower yeah. making a move for James for P5 on track. Goes all to change with penalties. James outbreaks himself. Goes wide. Gonna stay side and by side. Crane Flower does no, like get up. Rayon and Cosmic will be the podium uh, It's all still to change here. We'll stay on board with this. Grimace is on the back of Mick. Gross premise is at the biggest disadvantage with nine seconds of penalties. Are you on lap 34 of 36? Mick is slow through turn seven and eight. Could be seen premise going for a move. He's, he's, he's not going to go for it through turn nine, is he? He, has, he, he makes a smart move and back backs out, but empty the mighty is slow through there. The could, be see, could be seen. Could be seen. Overtakes on everywhere. Come on to the final. Come on to the penultimate lap. Of the Grand Prix here. Chris Mick on the back of Primus as well. It's all up for grabs for the podium position, does it stand? The but empty the mighty just needs to keep the lead here. But Mick is gaining, Mick is gaining. Will he make the move down into turn three? Dec he decides he not, not to, which is a smart that. thing, but he's all Possibly over the back of him. He does oh, get the. Could be going for a good old switcheroo. But into the mighty does get a better uh, exit. Better exit. And we'll keep leading down into turn four. The gap between Mick and Empty the Mighty only four tenths. As one that as we're coming through him. sector two for the second last time, but Empty the Mighty is wide through turn six. Coming in turn seven now. It, it just needs, the Red Bull just needs to bring it home now. Absolutely, he can let Mick pass. Mick has a penalty. If he has to, he can let him pass. We don't have to. He will. No, he'd, he'd like but to. Mick he'd like to win it on track. As Absolutely. James picks up another Two three seconds. Unfortunate. Again, so I could see like Premis so going for the move on. on quick Mick. Gonna try to go round the outside. There's slight, there's slight contact between the pair. Might have shoved the Alpine off. Yeah. Oh, we'll stay on board now. Could, could, could be seen Charismic going for a move Mick. into the podium positions. And he does get it well, done. Well, the Alpine go for the switch the room on him. Oh, yes, but he the, will. The premise is going to go for it. This is brilliant stuff towards the end of this Grand Prix here. Lap 36 out of 36. Into the mate. He's still leading with a gap of 6 tenths to Quick Mick with a 6 second penalty. We don't know what the finishing positions will be. It looks like Charismic and Cleo will be your second and third. But obviously, we'll wait to get the confirmed standings at the end of this. Yeah. But empty the mighty. He's played it perfectly. He's only got it two has, more corners to navigate absolutely. as we see Mick having a slight moment coming at turn nine. To turn nine. Empty the mighty. He just has to bring it home now. As it comes down to turn 10, is the Red Bull shock horror is going to win once again. Empty the mighty takes the win. 
It's going to be Charismic taking P2, McLean Flower in P3, Mick in P4, Primus in P5, James taking P6. It'll be Rogue taking P7 by the looks of it. Immortal pick. And Immortal's Immortal just DNF'd. DNF. Oh, he's, oh, he's butchered it. <laughs> Devil Move will take P8. And what that array. is that for the Austrian Grand Prix, of course. We will, all, as always, try and get the top three in for a chat. I better get my screenshots done this time. Don't want an angry message. So there it is. MT the Mighty will be taking the win and the he picks up driver of the day as well. I mean, well deserved. They brought that whole. If I can just let me get the screenshots, please. Through. Lewis, if you well could done, start Jim. inviting the top three to a party, I and we'll have a wee well chat with them. Attempt. As there we have it. We've got MT Mighty in P1 winning for Red Bull. We've got Charismic and Crane Flower rounding off. So oh, do we want third place first or No we just just, just invite them all in and then we'll and then we'll just go from there. I'll I just need to get my screenshots so if I can get them I won't be having any angry on. messages this week. So there we have it. Huh? As it for the Austrian Grand Prix. If we just wait then now I'll get the interviews going shortly. I don't know if you can get the Haas in, I think yeah, he's I'm, on... I'm just... PlayStation, do I believe. Oh, there we have it. That is it for RSF1 around Austria. We'll start the post-race interviews momentarily. If you can try and get... I can't, I can't remember who it was. I don't know if you have... Um, Crane Flower. Will think, try is he on to get... PlayStation, I believe he might be. Yeah, I think so. So he won't be able to get Crane Flower in for a chat. But, Lewis, that was... An exciting Division 4 Grand Absolutely. Prix as always, wasn't it? That was brilliant Thoroughly all the way through. enjoyed commentating on that one. If the game would load, I'd be able to start the interviews. Come on. Okay, <coughs> so we will start with. Oh, I don't. What did I do? So we'll start with Charismic for the post race interviews. If you make sure you have ticked the box, please. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, well, first of all, congratulations. Good race for you. How do you feel that went for you? Um, good. To bad, to worse, to good, I guess. So I sort of came back to second. I had a nightmare in that first stint of rain, I fell right down the pack. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that the rain impacted you towards the end of that Grand Prix? Um, well, my setup clearly wasn't uh, designed for that because I had no pace after the safety car restarts. They took me at least three laps to get my. I was up to temp, so I was just dropping back and back. And back. But luckily, I had fresh inters at the end. There's no point trying to take them out. I'll just wait, because I know I had less penalties mm -hmm. in them. It sort of paid off. Obviously, that race was so unpredictable for the penalties, but you did have a good qual qualifying, qualifying in a pole position, I believe. That's so, it. would you say your setup was more based around the dry than the wet? Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. So did you, predict, did you get warned that the rain was coming? Or no, did it just come? I did see it in quality, but 
it said it was going to come a lot later than it actually did. It was like right at the end of the race it was supposed to come, so I thought oh, I could hold out mm -hmm. to that. But when it came that early, I was a bit worried. So obviously we do head to a fan favourite and a driver favourite, Spa next week. How are you feeling for that? Of course, it is a 100% race as well. So are you looking forward to that? I don't think I've ever finished a race around Spa in a league race. I think I've crashed out every single time. So uh, hopefully I can finish this one. Yeah, so you'll be hoping for some good points. But congratulations on the podium today. Lewis, do you have anything to add? Not really, just... As Liv said, congratulations, brilliant quality from you and eventually got the podium in the end, so well done. Awesome, cheers guys. Okay, so we will now go to our race winner, Shock Horror, in our Red Bull, MT the Mighty. First of all, congratulations mate, how do you feel that one went for you? Oh, that was nerve-wracking at the end. It went pretty much the same as Christensen. Really good, really bad, and really good again. <laughs> so just as long as you finished, that was the main goal. Yeah, that was. I was. I wasn't even expecting a podium, to be honest. I hid. I was like one of the last people to put inters on when the rain came, because my weather report was telling me mediums were the best until it that until it came up saying safety car in, and then Jeff comes up saying you need to swap into inters, so I had to pit. Yeah, I and then. Need and then it was just so, all, kerfuffles. So obviously the rain coming earlier than expected, some are saying. How do you feel like that impacted you towards the oh, mid part of the Grand Prix? It, it definitely helped me in the end. I felt a lot quicker in the rain for the middle, for like the, the, the most part of the end. The last few laps I was like shaking almost with adrenaline and was just trying to keep the car on the road, <laughs> knowing that everybody behind me had stacks of penalties. Um, it was like if I wanted to win on track, obviously everybody wants to win on track, but knowing that if I get taken overtaken by two or three of the cars, I'm still going to come first due to the penalties. Yeah. So obviously, how how do you feel like your qualifying went? Because I, I can't remember if you made uh, Q3 or not. Qualifying started really well, and then in Q3, I think it's Q3, I uh, qualified oh, P6. Yeah. Forgot about that. Apologies. That's right. I, I qualified P6. Quali was Quali was right until my final run, and then I invalidated on turn seven somehow. Uh, I yeah, think so I just nicked over the line a little bit. Yeah. Obviously, track limits is tight around this track. So, as I said before, we do head to one of, one of the favourite tracks on the calendar, Spa next week. How are you feeling for that one? Me and Spa have a bit of a love-hate relationship. I I love Spa. Spa hates me. <laughs> but oh, okay. I've had some good races at Spa, but being a, it's the first time I'm ever going to race a hundred percent race as well. So it's going to be quite tiring, I think. Yeah, obviously, it just will be a case of endurance. Yeah, just trying to keep focus for that amount of time is going to be hard. I think. But I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be quite fun. I think. Yeah, and I have just looked in a Twitch chat and. Uh, I'm well, led to believe that is your first league racing win. That is my first league racing win. I've had nine second well, places and I've never won. Well, you Still finally down. got <laughs> the top step on the podium. Lewis, do you have anything to add? Uh, I'd, I'd just like to ask how it felt, uh, especially towards the end, even though all the drivers behind you had penalties, so you were almost guaranteed to win. But seeing them, especially towards the end, Quick Mick was right there. Did you feel you were maybe going to get taken out or were you just like... Yeah, that was that was my that was my main worry. My main worry was that I'm gonna get taken out. Yeah. And it was just the case. I was just trying to stay ahead. I think Quick Mick went for one overtake on me and outbreaked himself, and I managed to get it back. Yeah, but, that was some very yeah, good it was just you. just the worry of everyone behind me, really. Of like, I just yeah, like I said, I didn't want to be taken out. And I mean, I, I felt before that last safety car, I had left the pack behind. Me is it James? I think had left the pack behind and. Third yeah. place was three seconds behind me, and I was doing fine. And as soon as the, it's then the nerves kicked in in the last like four or five laps, and I was a lot slower across those. But then I only I only put on one set of inters. I'd never changed my inters. They were quite sliding yeah, by so, the end. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, first uh, league racing win. So congratulations on that, and Congrats. enjoy it. Thank you very much. Well, 
That is it for RSF1 around the Red Bull ring with a Red Bull winning tonight. It's certainly rigged in here as well. <laughs> so make sure you tune back. <laughs> so make sure you do tune back in to the RSF1 Twitch on Sunday evening where Division One are the first to kick off our um, weekend at Spa. First few. One a first of the one hundred percent races around Spa in Belgium. So back in here at eight o'clock on Sunday evening if you are interested in watching that. Lewis, any final words? Not really, just can't wait for Belgium next week. Okay, so that is going to be it for tonight. We'll catch you back here at eight o'clock on Sunday evening where Division One takes Spa. Have a good evening.